Hey, what's going on, guys? Terry Figure here. Just going to sort of explain how I've been leveling up fast. I've been getting a lot of messages over Xbox Live asking me, like, how I level up fast. And the only thing I can really say back is a lot of gameplay time and, you know, because it's hard to explain how I've been leveling up fast over just a simple message. So I'm going to make this video to take the time to sort of explain how I've been leveling up. I'll first tell you my class setup that I've got going at the moment. You can switch this up completely. It's up to you. This is what I've been using personally. It's been leveling me up pretty fine. So I've got the MSMC with reflex or fast mags. Generally you want a submachine gun or a shotgun just for the fast running. Then you want the stinger missile or a small. Even an RPG would be alright, I guess. But it's generally just to take down the U enemy UAVs and counter UAVs. They're really handy. It helps your team out so much and you get XP for it, which is always good. Now the equipment I'm using is just a normal frag grenade just because I couldn't be bothered to unlock a, like a bouncing betty or semtex or any of that. And then an EMP grenade. EMP grenades allow you to destroy enemy equipment and you also get XP for it. You get 50 score per uh, destroy. I'm not sure how much XP you do get but I'm pretty sure it's at least 50. Um, also, when if you play hardpoint, that's what I'm playing at the moment, it's awesome for XP because each time you capture the hardpoint you get 200 points and if you capture it right after your team had one captured and it switched you get 250 XP on top of that so you can get up to nearly 500 XP just for capturing a hardpoint. And you get 100 XP per UAV or counter UAV you destroy, and then it's more for the more advanced kill streaks that you destroy. Sorry, score streaks. They're called score streaks now. You might also notice that I'm using EMP grenades almost as concussion grenades. They sort of stun the enemy, but not very well. You also get assists. Like I think it's almost up to 20 seconds after you EMP them. So that's also really handy for XP. That's 50 points in an assist just for EMPing them, and it lasts for 20 seconds. I'm pretty sure, or maybe 30. Not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. Anyway, so generally, you've got to just play objectively. You don't even have to be a good player. You can be going for kills if you want, but you're not going to get as much score as this unless you get like 50 kills or whatever. But this gameplay, I only get like 20 kills, nearly 30 kills. And if you. Another cool trick that you can do is actually capture the hard point. You get the 200 points, jump off it, and if you let the enemies capture it and then you run back on and kill them, you get another 300 points on top of that because you get 100 for killing the enemy. And then you get the extra 200 for, for uh, capturing the HUD point. Also, you want to run low kill streaks. You never want to run the high kill streaks because generally, if you don't get them, then you're not getting as much score as you could normally. If you oh, also, I'm waiting out here because I know that the next hard point was going to be there. As you just noticed, I got the 200 points and I run off it straight away, letting the enemies have an opportunity to jump back on it, so I can hopefully kill them and capture the hard point again. It's more score for me, more XP. Care also, care packages are awesome. You can get such good things out of it. I've gotten dogs before. They are very useful. I've gotten a swarm. That's awesome. And just generally, you get guardians too a lot. They're gu the guardians are so good. You could put that on if you really wanted. It's completely up to you. I just put the lower kill streaks on because I prefer to get more kill streaks per game. I don't generally go for the kills anymore. I used to, just out of habit from Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and all that. I'm also out of EMP grenades right here, so I use the frag just for the hell of it. Still 50 points per destroy of equipment. Just to try to destroy it through walls and yeah. So oh yeah, I didn't forget. I forgot to tell you all my perks: ghosts, uh, fast hands, and engineer. Engineer allows me to see equipment through walls and such. Fast hands, uh, throw equipment faster, so my frag grenades and my MP grenades, and then goes to keep off the radar. So, also, you might notice I've got a, a Hellstorm missile waiting. I'm actually waiting for the hard point to switch to the location that's on the middle of the deck of the ship that we're on. So, yeah, that's I'm just keeping that there for hopefully getting triple or whatever. I only get like a double, so that's not too good. Anyway, so... You might notice that I, I am still using the EMP grenades as almost stun grenades or concussion grenades. It's just because it makes it a lot more effective if you if there's no equipment, you still stun the people. Because then if your teammates manage to kill them, you get an extra 50 points on top of it, even if you don't kill them. So you might also notice me just sort of running through the hard point and then running off. I get killed here. Almost got a double kill. And uh, hard points should should switch to the top in around about five seconds. So I EMP them again, and uh, yeah. So I think I end up only going 27 to 23 with eight captures and five defends at the end of this. But there's another person that ends up having around about 41 kills, and I beat him by around about 
2,000 score, like an extra 2,000 score on top of it. I just destroyed an AGR just there, if you noticed, with my uh, Hellstorm missile. That's like almost 150 points, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. It's, uh, it's been a long day. And uh, so, yeah, if you notice me spawning every time and spinning around looking up in the sky, it's actually I'm looking for UAVs, because sometimes you don't actually hear enemy UAV inbound or hostile and UAV inbound or whatever they say. Sometimes you don't actually hear it, they, because it's like overwhelming with all these other vocals that they say, they're like, God, uh, you know, UAV inbound, all that random stuff. There it is there. He said it, so I heard it, so I knew exactly that it was up there. RCXD spotted. So you just got to keep an ear out for them. Little hints that there's things in. Right there, just destroy a uh, AGR with the uh, EMP grenades. It generally takes two to three EMP grenades to destroy an AGR. It's not too hard to destroy, because generally they're, they're basically just like concussion grenades, except they're EMP. A lot of people use them in Modern Warfare 3, but they weren't too good. They didn't really help out a lot. But in this game, whoa, they are so useful. You can destroy sentry guns and guardians with just one EMP grenade. And they just have to be in the vicinity too. They don't even have to be right next to the EMP grenade. So it's pretty useful. Right here, I'm trying to look for the UAV. I get lost a little bit. Hellstorm missiles look pretty sweet when they come down. Right there, UAV. You only get 75 score and 100 XP. What people don't realize is that the score that is shown on the in-game isn't actually how much XP you're getting. So most of the time it is, but a lot of the time, like a lot of the time, you're not actually getting the exact amount of XP you're getting. But it's showing so. And uh, so a lot of people have asked me, how come I'm not getting double XP during the double XP weekend that was just on last weekend? And it was actually because it was showing you the score you're getting, not the double XP you're getting. So, where you might only see you get 100 points a kill, you're actually getting 200 XP a kill. So, I don't know what people have problems with understanding that, but a lot of people have been having troubles realizing that it's not actually the XP you get, it's that it's showing. So, it's, that's another thing that might help you out too, if you're worried that you're not getting a lot of XP. Because... Although it does actually show up weapon XP, I'm pretty sure that you earn when you level your weapons up. It pops up with like 600 XP plus or whatever. Hunter killer drone Honey killers, on Honey killers are awesome. You Hunter just throw them up in the sky and they do their own thing. I've gotten Hunter a multi kill with one of them before. It's pretty lucky though. It was on domination back when Nuketown 2025 was around. Also, if they ever bring that m game mode back where you, all you can play is Nuketown, play it. It's so good. I was leveling up at least almost a prestige a day. It was awesome. You want to also play... They've brought out the new smaller map game mode. That's awesome too for leveling up. Because the faster pace the game mode is, the more XP you can earn. Because the faster you can get back in the battle and work your way around things and all that. Another good equipment you could use instead of EMP grenades is... Uh, Trophy systems, they're pretty useful too. You can just chuck them down on the hard point or the domination location. Domination. <laughs> that sounds funny. Anyway, so... Yeah, so the trophy systems are really useful. You can throw them down. Generally, people throw grenades and flashes and all that sort of stuff. Like, they're bloody giving poor people money. And uh, care packages are really useful. I've seen a couple people go for the stealth choppers. Personally, I don't think they're useful because I've called in a fair few myself going for the high kill streak and then they just get shot down straight away. So I don't really see the point in using them. Counter UAVs are awesome. If you run a uh, UAV and a counter UAV, you actually get it like double the assist points. And then if you EMP someone while that's going, you actually get basically the same amount of points you would as a normal kill. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, so make sure if you are playing hardpoint, you learn what pattern the hardpoint switches to and where it's going to be after. So here it'll switch to that one of the other buildings, or the rooms, or whatever you want to call it on the yacht, and then it'll go un downstairs to the other building, and then back on top. Every map is different, so generally they only have four spots, but occasionally they have more than that. Right here, I EMP the sentry turret, destroyed it straight away, and then the second EMP that I threw actually destroyed an RCXD, that if you listen carefully, you might have heard the, the guy saying over the top, just as I destroyed it, enemy RCXD spotted or whatever. That's because just as the dude called it in, I EMP'd it straight away and it destroyed it straight away. And uh, so yeah, generally you don't even have to be that good of a player to just EMP things. Because you just have to be able to aim an EMP grenade, throw it, and you've destroyed things. If you run Engineer, you can actually see equipment through walls, and it's awesome. You can 
generally EMP grenades can actually like EMP a whole room. They go through walls, the electric magnet magnetic pulse, and uh, so you could just throw it up to that top stairs like I just did, and it would destroy all the stuff downstairs too. Uh, EMP grenades also destroy uh, honey killers. I've had one. I've only ever destroyed one because it's really difficult to get it to time it correctly. But if you do time it correctly, it can be really rewarding. That guy just got turned on. And uh, as you can see right there, there's actually a sentry turret, but I don't get to make it in the end. Sadly. I just missed it, I think. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so my end score, 6690. So you can also see that other guy that was at 4300 score, and I beat him to basically 2300 score. So I only went 27 to 23, and... I beat him. I didn't even have to get that many kills. It wasn't too hard. I wasn't playing over the top. I wasn't spawn trapping, none of that sort of stuff. And I still got over 6,000 score. Personally, I think that's pretty sweet. Doesn't take a whole skilled player. Like, I don't consider myself completely skilled. Don't consider myself awesome. But I did do pretty well that game. I topped the game. I was topping the whole game for the next couple games until it lagged out. Because the servers have been playing off lately. I destroyed... See, here, it actually says I destroyed an enemy UAV plus 700 XP because I destroyed 7. So it's 100 XP you get, but you only get 75 score. Same with Hunter Killers and when you get kills. Generally, all the medals are actually only 100 XP, but some of them are actually 250 XP. So as you can see there, forward position, the the description of it is capture a, capture a hard point immediately after your team owned the last hard point. So if you can guess where the next one is going to be or if you know where the next one's going to be, that's really handy. handy. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.